previous videos, we've done a short series here where we've created the platonic solids. Here's some examples. So we have the dodecahedron, 12 sides, that uh, represents heaven. 6,480 degrees, that's how many degree, uh, years in a platonic season. Cube is 2,160, that's how many years are in a platonic month. We also have the icosahedron. Uh, 3,600 degrees uh, represents um, water, so we have heaven, uh, earth, oct octahedron is air, tetrahedron 720 degrees, 72 degrees per 72 years per degree precession. This is fire, heaven, earth, air, fire, and the icosahedron. 20 sides is. Um, represents water, 3,600 degrees. So it uh, looks relatively complex in comparison, but it's still pretty simple. It's basically the same equilateral triangle, which we can create from the vesicle of this uh, seed of life pattern. Now some people get a bit turned off when they hear uh, vesica or seed of life. I think it's a little bit uh, Kumbaya, but you know that's just unfortunately that's sort of a name that's been attached to it. Uh, if there was a, you, know, you can call it, you know, not, give it whatever name you want if you're not into that those type of words. But uh, we'll begin with the Vesica Pisces or Vesica Piscis, vessel of the fish. I'm just going to extend that across. So now we have what's called a double Vesica. Yep, I'm in camera. Yeah, that should be enough. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll just do a couple of extras. Have a little bit extra is not a problem. Okay, so now we just want to do the same thing along the bottom. And if you're familiar with this, this will start to create what's called the seed of life pattern which in itself, so we're just, we can start this one, two, three, we're just creating, this creates equilateral triangles, and eventually we'll create a series of uh, hexagons. And it's uh, one of those perfect shapes in nature, very efficient, that's why beehives and so many other things, are, we use the hex hexagonal pattern, it's not only strong, but it's a very efficient use of material, so it's uh, Do one more now, then we're going to run along the top and do the same thing. So, where they intersect along the top. I'm rushing a little bit, so you're going to take your time, be as accurate as you can. to throwing around the compass so you know you might if you take your time and try and learn to how to balance the compass so you don't uh, start slipping with it exactly like that it's uh so now we have the basic pattern and i can put my compass away my pen dries out and go to uh four point so what we need to do is basically create three rows of equilateral triangles and what I mean by that, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll start here and so I'm going to run a line through and up and uh, actually I'll just do, you know, we'll start one across so that I've got the point, okay I'm going to start here and so I'm going to go through, through and then up to that intersection point. And I'm going to take this away and put it so I don't push through onto the paper beneath. Okay, so we'll start here, run through this axis through the seed, which has this petal pattern, and up until that intersection point there. down hard so it helps with the fold and uh, what we need across is one two three four five 
and we can just do this as one line. Okay, so now we can do the same thing along the top. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now, run this line through, we're going to go up again. Do that all the way back down. And up to the top of it again. Now, I think this one might be unnecessary, but that's okay. So, here we have uh, uh, the, the basics of the pattern now. What we're going to do is we're going to run that through again. You know, probably extending some of these lines more than what's necessary, but that's okay. We can just cut away what's needed. And then from that point again, we'll there again. So what do we have? Okay, now from there, you can see sort of the, the, the geometry will just sort of give you all the navigation points you need. So we have one, two, three, four, five pointing down, one, two, three, four, five pointing up, so and then one, two, three, four, five, so just to finish. And this one here. And what we have are the all the bits we need for the icosahedrons. So, for instance, okay, I'll just highlight the basic outside of the template. And there's what we need for the icosahedron. Now we want those little bits of extra paper and I'll um, Put them in a slightly in a different colour. Now let me see if I remember. So you want to keep that, that, and now as well. We'll need one to touch on this side over here. So. That should be all of them. Double check. That will be all. This is probably one too many, but we'll include that one as well. So now we just need to cut that out. Icosahedron. So there's our five platonic solids.
tetrahedron, Gaia, water, the cube, earth, octahedron, air, and dodecahedron, heaven. Simple. Have a good one.